What's up, math scholars and math haters? This is Mr. W. Today we're going to tackle question 32 in the 8th grade math questions that North Carolina released this past year. The question gives us a scatter plot which shows the amount of sunlight some tomato plants received and the amount each plant grew, and we're supposed to interpret the slope of this trend line. So in order to do a question like this, you'll need to know how to read scatter plots and best fit lines. Specifically, uh, we're looking at slope this time. So let's take a look at this scatter plot. We see the points, we see the line of best fit, and we're supposed to see which of these choices best describes where the line is going. Now, the question does label the axes of this graph. The x-axis is how much sunlight the plant got. The y-axis is how much the plant grew. So as I look at my scatter, or as I, as I look at my line of best fit, I see the it starts down here and kind of hits this point here. Now, if I think about slope, that I think about that as how far up and how far right I'm going. So that's up one and right three. Now, of course, right or left is supposed to match hours of sunlight and up or down is supposed to match the growth. So let's look for the answer choice that tells us that for three hours of sunlight, it grows one inch. Let's see, three inches, two hours, no. Two inches, three hours, no. Three inches, one hour. That's the trickiest answer because it has the numbers we're looking for, but it switches the variables around that they're supposed to go with. So it looks like D is going to be our answer. One inch. Inches is our vertical variable, and one inch was our vertical change. For three hours of sunlight, hours of sunlight is our horizontal X variable, and that was our horizontal change on the line of best fit. So that tells me that my answer is choice D.